So today we are going to create this eye animation in After Effects. It's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration we can set it to 15. Just click on OK. So first we are going to create our eye. So for that we are going to enable this title action save or this proportional grid. Once you're done with this, we can select this pen tool. Make sure that the fill is set to whatever color you want and stroke. I'm going to set this to zero. Now we're going to pick up points. So let's just select this one. So just click over here. And after that, I'm going to like click on to this point. So just click and drag. You can hold on the shift key if you want. So I'm going to like drag it to this point. Perfect. Now we can like click over here just like this and after that we can click somewhere around here and once you're happy with it you can let it go after that we are going to like click over here to close this shape so we have this basic shape of the eye now once you're ready with this we are ready to create the pupil so first i'm going to like get rid of this proportional grid so now we are going to select the ellipse tool so after that you can hold on the shift key just click and drag and it will create an ellipse now let's make it like something around that now let me just quickly change its color to something like that so that we can easily see it let's align it to the center using the align panel if you're not able to see it then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it i'm going to like select this and let's press ctrl d to duplicate this let's select this press s to scale this down so we are going to make a smaller circle so make sure that its anchor point is in the center so you can select this layer hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool now let me just quickly scale it down to something like that let's just change its color by simply applying a fill effect so let's drag it over here and i'm gonna change its color to black perfect so here we have our eye now we are ready to like rig this out and after that we will animate it so for rigging we are going to like simply create a null object Let's select both of these layers and we're going to parent it to the null. Now in order to animate it, we have to like move it around. But you will notice one thing that as I am moving, you can see that this area is not clipping this. So the pupil should remain within the eyes and it's actually quite easy. We can just simply search for an effect called set mat and let's just drag it on to this eye pupil layer. So let me just quickly rename this and let's rename this one as well. And this one we can call it eye. Perfect. Now we can select this pupil layer and under the set matte effect, I'm going to like change it to eye and let's make sure that effects and mask is selected. Now we can copy this and just paste it onto this as well. Now you'll notice that if I move this null point, you can see that our eye is like cutting out the pupil and it stays within this region. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we are ready to animate it out. So first I'm going to like select this press P for position. Let's add a keyframe and i'm going to like simply add a couple of keyframes so first i'm going to like make it start from down below so let's just start from the beginning and let's just move it somewhere around here let's move a couple of frames ahead and i'm going to like move it to the center after that we can like again move a little bit ahead so just keep on creating these keyframes because we are going to like change them anyway later on and let's just move the eye over here Let's move a couple of frames ahead and I'm going to like move it to this point and let's move a little bit ahead somewhere around this. Just keep on moving this till you find something that looks good. And if I play this out, you can see we have this eye, but right now it's not looking that good because we have to play around with the easing. So now we can select the keyframes. You can press F9 to ease them. Now let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, make sure you are using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now let's select all the keyframes and you can change the graph to look something like that. Again, it's completely up to you. You can just make it however you want. And you can see we have this eye and I think this looks perfect, but you will notice that this is moving like way too fast. So we can have some hold keyframes. So let me just quickly select everything, hold on alt key and let's just move them a little bit ahead. Now I'm going to like zoom in at this point, we want this pupil to like stay over here instead of moving like this quickly. So we can just simply copy this keyframe and just paste it so that it will stay over here like that. And after that, it can move to this point. And again, we can just copy it and let's paste it over here to stay. You can play around with the duration. 
like that and let's just do the same thing so copy it and paste it over here so it will stay there and after that it will move back to this point and after that it will come back to its original position or we can just simply copy this and just paste it over here so here we are done with our eye animation now our next step is to like stylize this and to make it look nice so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so for that i'm going to like start with this eye so let's select this right click and i'm going to go to layer style and let's enable inner shadow and let's go under the inner shadow properties and let's play around with a couple of them so i'm going to like increase the size and let's decrease the distance now we can play around with this size now instead of black i'm going to like change it to something like this again it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever color you want so i'm going to like set it to a little bit of this bluish sort of color like that perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to like color this pupil so i'm going to like select this and on this one i'm going to like click on this fill and under the fill we have this option for stroke so i'm going to like select this just click on ok now over here we have these two handles so i'm going to like move this one to the top this one to the bottom so that we have this very nice gradient in the eye and we can like start adding some more colors to this so let's select this out and we can like make this top color to something like that and let's click in the middle and let's um, let's add one more color so i'm going to like make this bluish sort of color something like that now you can play around with this as well to make some highlights i think this looks good so here we have our eye now let's add some details to this pupil as well so for that we can just simply select this ellipse and under the fill i'm going to set this to like solid so let's just set this to solid color and i'm going to set this to white just click on ok now you can click and drag to make this highlight something like that and let's make this blurry by simply applying Gaussian blur let's drag it onto this and i'm going to like increase its value now you will be able to see this weird edge so you can just simply uncheck this repeat edge pixel and it will get rid of this so here we have this highlight again we can like make this little bit bigger and i'm going to like duplicate this let's slow down the blur amount and i'm going to like make it a little bit smaller so that we have this very nice highlight yeah, i think this looks good perfect so once you're done with this we can do a couple of more things so first i'm going to select this pupil and we can enable inner shadow over here as well so let's enable it out and i'm going to like set the distance to zero and let's just increase the size like that and again you can play around with the color it's completely up to you you can just use whatever you want Let's pick a little bit of darker color something like that and i'm going to like increase the size so here we are done with this now once you're done with that we need to have like little bit of outline outside this so it's actually quite easy let's select this eye press ctrl d to duplicate this now you will have to make sure one thing that this is set to the layer number six which is this eye so just select both of these layers and just set this to this i6 because this is going to be our stroke let's call this stroke and i'm going to select this and let's enable the stroke onto this like that now just like we did with the fill we can just click on this stroke and instead of solid color we can have gradient just click on that now let's click on to this these handles as well so i'm going to like pick and drag this onto this side this one we can like place it over here perfect now we can play around with the gradient so just click onto this side and i'm going to like make the middle one like this bright color let's keep it white and these edge ones we can like make them darker something like that let's do the same thing over here as well 
just like that now we can like select these and let's just move these points so that we have this concentrated area in the middle like that so i think this looks good perfect now there is one more thing we have to create the blinking animation as well so for that we can just simply select this eye and let's just search for path and if i go over here we have this path property so i can just simply click to add a keyframe and let's just move it like a little bit ahead somewhere around here now in order to close this eyes all we have to do is just simply select this and let's move a couple of frames ahead let's move like two three frames ahead let's move like three frames ahead and after that we can just simply make this like come down something like that and now just pick the bottom one as well and just make it to the top somewhere around here just like that so now we can just simply copy this first keyframe and let's move like three frames ahead and just paste it so here you can see we have this single blinking eye animation now we have to like paste it onto the stroke as well but we can do that later on let's select this press f9 to easy the keyframes now in the beginning we can do one more thing we can have this eye like completely closed so for that we can like select this and just make it like that now select the end point and let's just make it something like that now you can see that it's completely closed so it will open up and after that it will like blink then you can just like copy these and just paste it at different points something like that so here you can see we have this very natural blinking animation like this again it's completely up to you however you want so somewhere around here let's select this press u somewhere around here we can like copy this first keyframe and just paste it so that we have this repeating animation so let's just copy this and paste it so that the eye will remain open over here and after that it will shut down perfect let's just copy these keyframes and paste it onto these strokes as well so let's search for path over here let's select this and press ctrl v to paste it now here you can see we have this very nice blinking animation and we have this pupil as well now there is one more thing that is left we forgot to like parent this highlight to this pupil so let's just pick a point so let's select these two highlights and just parent them and also we will have to like copy this set matte effect and just paste it onto these two layers as well so now you can see we have this highlight that moves with our eye pupil so this is how you can create these kind of eye animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.